The Integrated Sensing Platform, or ISP, is an industry-leading sensing technology for the ITT engineered valves portfolio of diaphragm valves. The ISP introduces the latest technology in valve monitoring and communications suitable for hygienic and industrial applications. Ultra compact with an optional internal solenoid, installing and commissioning the ISP couldn't be easier. Simple mounting, auto calibration, and continuous sensing make the ISP quick and reliable to install and operate. In this video, we will cover field mounting, calibration, and solenoid override for the ISP. First, we will demonstrate how to field mount the ISP to an existing ITT actuator. The ISP employs a modular mounting system which minimizes valve installation height and reduces the number of modules across the valve size range. To select the proper mounting kit, identify the valve size and actuator type from the second line of the actuator label. Using the valve size and actuator type, refer to the mounting configuration chart found in the installation and maintenance manual to choose the proper mounting kit. The following instructions will illustrate a 1 inch Envision valve with a stainless steel actuator. Install the sensing target magnet to the valve indicating spindle as shown. Insert the gasket into the bottom of the ISP. Attach two mounting screws through the ISP to the actuator mounting holes and tighten screws securely. The ISP is now mounted and ready for use. The ISP can be oriented in 90 degree increments on the actuator to facilitate air connections. Next, we will demonstrate the calibration process using a three-wire ISP as an example. ITT recommends that prior to calibration, the process is properly locked out since the calibration procedure will cycle the valve open and closed. Attach an appropriate M12 cable to the ISP connector. Calibration is initiated with a magnetic dongle. No entry to the switch housing is required. First, position the dongle over the dongle target with the word calibrate facing up. Hold the dongle for two seconds until blue LEDs start to flash. Remove the dongle briefly and reapply it to the dongle target with either side up for one second until the LEDs turn solid blue. Remove the dongle from the dongle target. The ISP will operate the solenoid, automatically stroking the valve to its open and closed positions. The ISP set points are now saved and calibration is complete. If the ISP model does not include an integral solenoid, then the valve must be operated by connecting an airline directly to the actuator or by manually operating the valve via the control system. If desired, the LED colors for open and closed position can be reversed. While the LEDs are flashing, apply either side of the dongle to the dongle target for one second. If your ISP has Bluetooth capability, then calibration will be completed using the ISP app. Contact ITT for more information on this option. Lastly, we will demonstrate the local solenoid override process. ISP modules supplied with a solenoid are designated by an SV code that can be overridden locally. When performing this procedure, ITT recommends that the process is properly locked out since the valve will cycle open and closed. To enable the local solenoid override, position the dongle over the dongle target with the word solenoid facing up. Hold it for two seconds until the green LEDs flash with the blue LEDs on. The yellow solenoid LED indicates the current state of the solenoid. To disable the local solenoid override, reposition the dongle over the dongle target with the word solenoid facing up. Hold it for two seconds until the LEDs turn red. The yellow solenoid LED will turn off. Note that the local override takes precedence over the PLC. For more information on the ISP, please visit us at www.engvalves.com.